Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo? Back in subsistence. How are you doing? Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. Do appreciate it. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Life is treating you good. So we're going to get ourselves, we're going to start prepping ourselves to head down to the south end here. But I wanted to, I got the power and mass built up. Because if we head down to the south end, like I mentioned, we're going to uh, go do a pearl dive in the south lake. Plus, we're going to head back into the south caves. And as you saw, if you looked, at, if you watched the spelunk spelunking episode when we were in the caves down here, I'm in co-op mode. And the hunters or the miners are quite a bit tougher down there. And there seems to be more of them. And they're spawning kind of weird right now on this pre-alpha 60 Something weird's going on with them. Anyways, I'd feel better if we had our weapons upgraded. So I got power and mass built up. And we're going to start upgrading some weapons here. One of the... I got to get this one... Oh, man, I'm almost dying. I need something to eat. We need to get... Uh, this guy and this guy. We're going to get repaired here. I think I need a little bit of cordage for this one, too, if I'm not... Nope. Just those. It's... This one we need cordage on. So let's repair that one as well. Always repair before you upgrade. Because it gets a little more expensive to do so after the fact. Alright. So what are we going to need here? We're going to need... Ingots. And sinew. Rope. Electrical components. And, and uh, weapons parts. So I made up a bunch of rope. Which drained our... Uh, sinew situation so we're gonna maybe take a leap over when we get to the south side maybe uh go for some more cats uh electrical components weapons parts and we got some ingots so let's get these done so firepower out of the box the lever action is 54 firepower and we're gonna jump that up to level one which brings us to 64 which is pretty awesome and I think the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the 44 is 55 uh, firepower out of the box. And it jumps up to 66, which is pretty nice. So that one's done. The firepower is done. Let's do the, uh, just the firepower, right? Yeah. And then the clip size, we'll do that one. Yeah, so the... F Double barrel, I'm not going to worry about raid at the moment. The reload speed's kind of nice to do on it, especially, you know, for down in the caves and stuff. But we'll work on that a little bit later. But out of the box, it does 120 damage and times two. So that, you know, we got 240 power at our disposal right there. I'd rather use the mass and the power and the, and the materials and stuff to get the 44 and the lever action done first. And then the reload speed. Let's do uh, all three. So we got, we're got we fully upgraded on level one. We're going to do the same on the uh, 44. And like I mentioned, the pistol, the 40, or the, tw or the 9 mil, we'll start upgrading the uh, clip size. Oh, he's pissed off at something. Clip size and the reload speed on that coming up pretty soon as well. Because like this one here... I think it does 18 out of the box and then level one it only goes to like 21 then level two up to 25 so it only jumps a few each time and i think the at level four it only does like 32 firepower i mean your your bow is does a little bit more than that but i'll tell you what like i mentioned and that's something i learned from newbie is you, you get that uh reload speed and the clip size upgraded man this thing's a beast you got a you know a clip size of 15 rounds in there so there we go. Our lever action's fully upgraded. Let's get uh, this guy going. We got enough power and mass to do all three of these as well. Like I said, this one is 55 out of the box. It jumps to 66. And then uh, up to, I think, in the 70s, 70, 77. I think it was up at like 11 each time or something like that. Which is pretty sweet. So definitely... The uh, shoddies are worth upgrading because they jump up like 20 each time you upgrade them. And then other than that, the lever action jumps up by 10 each time, I think. And the, and the, uh, ro the uh, revolver 
goes up by 11, which is very sweet. Let's get the clip side up. There, clip size upgraded on that one, and then the reload speed. Then we're going to get out and do a little bit of looting. i got to get some nails rounded up to take with us over there. I've got a... Um, almost 500 but we need a crap ton of them we're gonna build a pretty uh decent sized base over there what have i got just the two eh so we got the last one reload speed and then that'll be done we'll put this guy away till we head down but this is gonna help substantially down the caves i think plus i got all the um the phosphate refined into phosphorus so we'll make some incendiary to take down with us. And also I got all that crystal refined as well. All right. Let's get all this stuff put away. Let's have something to eat before I forget and pass out on my deck or something. Let's put uh, this guy away. We don't need him right now. And we're going to save these for when we're doing some building around here. And we'll put them out in the beach and have some fun and watch some fireworks. Let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it. Let's just go have a bite to eat. I feel better now. We got uh, a little bit more firepower behind us. Can we eat one of these big guys? Oh, yeah. There we go. The mass. Yeah, there we are. The uh, stamina coming up too. Beautiful. So we're at 101 health and 100 for stamina, which is pretty cool. We're getting up there. All right, I got some lock picks on me. Let's head out. Let's go back first and see what's out there. We'll start out there and we'll work around. Unfortunately, there's no rogues around. Kind of depresses me a little bit. Just really looking forward to having a visit with those guys. Got a wolf over there. Oh, there's a crate. Yeah, might as well just do some looting. Let's just take advantage of the area being pretty much clear. Let's run into some hunters. We'll get out and uh, just do a little bit of a build up. Then I'm going to get beach in here and give me a hand. Get a bunch of uh, planks made up. We'll haul all that stuff up over the mountain here next episode. And start getting ourselves set up over there. I'll make up a wood burner to take with us and um, a BCU. I'll also make a generator to take with us. And start building up over there. It's going to be a work in progress or, you know, a work in pro progress. We're not going to get it all done in one shot. And I'm definitely not going to build it as big as this base, but we'll build something you know, substantial. I got a pretty good idea for a design over there. Then we'll do a little bit of uh, pearl diving and cave spelunking, so I'll make a bunch of tanks to take with us. I might even have to get a foundation and a box set up over there, a couple boxes, and uh, take a couple trips and haul a few things over there. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what all I got to take. Because I plan on taking a bunch of tanks. Because that lake's so deep. Once I find once I get down into the bottom, I just stay down there. So I can usually go through seven or eight tanks pretty easy for a good pearl run. Might even be worth making a diving station to take over there just so we got the ability to make some tanks. But I think we'll work on that a little bit later. We're more or less just going to get over there and get ourselves set up. And start, you know, get a good start on things. Don't worry about the potassium right now. I got to grind a bunch of that more, or a bunch more of that down as well. Let's go see what's going on out here. Heard some growling. Assuming it was this dude over here. Running around with my pickaxe out. Uh, it was just a shadow on the rock. I thought I saw a box up over there. Yeah, let's take a look at the front yard here. I haven't really had a look around. Quite often, up something up on the rock up there. I don't see anything just yet. 
Oh, there's a crate there. It's a builder's crate, too. No nails, though. That's all right. What are you all uptight about? Hope you're all doing good. It's getting hot here, man. We're hitting... Oh, there's a lock crate. We're uh, aiming to hit 30 here on uh, tomorrow. Oh, there's a cat up there, too. Where's that lock crate gone? It was kind of blended in here. Now we got most of our iron fragments back. Some more panels. Bunch of planks, which is good. We're going to be needing those. Some uh, adhesive. Eh, it's all right. Not a bad one. Let's uh, uh the recurve. We can do forty-five with it. He's only a level one. Let's just get him with the uh. Yeah, he was 127, so I took the two. Now we're not bleeding. That's going to help out. Hope he's got a few sinew on him. He should. And when we're close to home, we'll run back and drop some of the stuff. Oh, got six out of the deal on a level one. That's nice. Yeah, let's go drop this stuff back in the base and then uh, drop the meat off as well. It's right here, so why not? There's a crate down in the middle there, too. Yeah, we're getting kind of full, so let's go drop this stuff off real quick, and then we'll head back out. Not a bad start. Lock crate and a cat. I'll take it. Not doing good on nails. I don't think we found any yet. No, not yet. It's kind of what we're after, but that's the way it goes. There's a kelp, but I got tons in the fridge here. Actually, I think I'm just about ready to pop over, and my fridge is full, so. How are we doing on steak and liver and stuff? Oh, we're good, so I'm just going to burn this up. Let's throw all this stuff in. And throw these berries in the fridge. Actually, you know what? I could probably just use it. There we go. How are we looking? Let's have a bite to eat. Man, eat a lot in this game. That's hard work out here, though. You know? Should have had a berry water, but that's okay. All right, let's head back out. There's another blueberry. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about getting over to that south side. Working, start working on a build. We got lots to do around this one yet, too, but it'll be a nice... I'd like to get everything set up so in the winter we can, you know, get to either place fairly rapidly. Wouldn't mind getting the pickaxes going pretty soon, too. The climbing axes, I mean. Oh. I was just going to stop for that crate, but... Wait till this guy backs off. Oh, didn't back off enough. Let's go back to this crate. There's another builder's crate. Not going to waste the shotgun shells on them. Man, I just can't keep my hands clean around here. And let's drop this guy in. Now, where was that? Uh, there's this other crate here, but I wanted to find that one behind us here first. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I guess we're right here. Let's grab it. Another bottle of water. Not doing well with the nails. Uh, once we start spending a little bit of time up in that... Uh, birch area and stuff too. The loot will be spawned Then We should be okay with finding nails and stuff around there too. Alright. 
So where did that go now? It was kind of up this way. Might even be gone now. Now there it is. There we go. Five nails. Now that's going to help. That's a half a wall. Yeah, I love that south end. You guys know that. So it's going to be fun hanging around up there for a few days. Got lots to take with us though. So like I said, I may have to do a quick trip up. Oh yeah, pick or climbing gear. I want to get that going so we can get some uh, feathers as well. We might even make a set before we go and take them with us because there is lots of opportunity for feathers up in that south end there. Then we get ourselves a A glider going. I find uh, in my season one profile that I've been bouncing back and forth to this new area. I've been using the glider and it's kind of uh, quick and fun. You can get up and over nice and quick. Bounce back and forth between the two bases with the, with the glider. But at the same time, want to start building this profile up for the upcoming uh, Alpha 60. Definitely want to be able to start working on... Uh, what's coming in that update it's gonna be a lot of fun I've been uh, hammering away in that season one profile and getting lots of uh, mats built up got lots of power and mass built up in our main base over there I think I'm up to uh, like 10,000 power and I think 1500 mass or something like that. I got six generators running. Just so when the Alpha 60 drops, we can get over there and take a look at it. See what everything's going to be about. I don't anticipate we'll be able to complete the ATV in one session, but I'm going to get a good idea of what's, what's to come with it for sure. Man, loot is not too terribly awesome today. It's not bad. Since that first little uh, bit. Oh, hey, buddy. I was looking to see where you were. I guess I found you. See, we lose them on this rock. Here's a carrot on that side, too. All right, I think he's gone. Let's grab that carrot. Let's bail. We'll go up top here, have a look around, and then we'll head across the creek and see what's on that side. There's another Grizz. Okay, he backed off. And a wolf down there. Oh, is that a lock crate? Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to take this wolf out. Let's go see. Watch, it was probably another, the back of a wolf and I'm running right into him. No, it's a lock crate. Hey, Chuck. All right, let's get this guy. Then we'll go take a look at Charlie. It looks like there's only one guy out there, maybe two. Oh, look at the shoddy shells in there. Seven of them. Some more planks. Ah, kind of mediocre. But it's all good. We'll take it. Let's go see what's going on here. Oh, there's three of them out there. All right. Well, you boys continue on with what you're doing. Won't bother you today. We could try out the, the new... Uh, since there's no rogues around, we could try out the new upgraded weapon.
They didn't get anything of real substantial value out of there other than some more sinew, which is awesome. Yeah, maybe I... Should we go piss around with those guys? I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> it's because there's no rogues. There's no rogues. The, the closest rogues we got to us are on the very far side of the North Lake. There's only actually a couple rogue camps I could see on the map this time around. It's kind of odd. I think they uh, got the message and they're not hanging around here too often now. Yeah, we might have to go see, uh, try this out on Charlie. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? You can lose a couple of, uh, sinew. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a few good things off him. Gain some of our, uh, oh, there's one over here too. Get some of our weapons parts back that we spent. All right. If I can squeeze it in too, I might even just, uh, do a clip size and a reload speed on this nine mil as well for heading over to the other side. Would have been nice if I had made up some incendiary for this test here. Let's come right down here. Let's get right in their face. There's a crate over there anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I see two of them. Well, they're all three little them are all sitting down there taking a dump. Nice. These guys don't have helmets. So, oh, I was going to say we should be okay, but he moved just before we, uh... Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Got a bear pissed off. He's a tough guy, actually. Well, not bad. Still could use another level up, but... I'm hearing that bear. <laughs> a little distracted. So we got a clip size of six now, which isn't bad. These guys have, uh, well, toughened up as well. I got any carrot seeds on me? No, I guess not. Oh, yeah, I do. That helps out. And yeah, we're going to have to eat something anyways. No, I am popping like a madman. And this guy's back. There we go. All right, of course, he's got a fish, but we got a fish oil. And we should be... What did I lose there? Gunpowder. Really? You know what? Uh, actually, we can make some berry water. There we go. Anybody gonna come out and, uh, say hi? Oh, and a match. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna eat those guys. Anybody going to come to the window here or what? No? All right. Well, that was a bit of a test. Still got some work to do on it. It's not like last season when we had, uh, mind you, we were in just in solo mode last season too. And the, they weren't as tough. Look at this guy over there. He's hiding out. Let's go up front. Gotta watch this claymore here. Oh, look at this. I'll take their Amazon. I'm a porch pirate. I oh, can hear him running around in there now. Oh, 
I was a little late. I gotta watch this claymore. I'm a little nervous about it. Then he goes and <laughs> over here and ba bails back down and sits down. Kneels down thinking I can't see him. Oh! That one was pretty good. That worked. Did they blow up the... No, I was gonna say they blew up the claymore, but it's right over there. Alright. No sense in wasting ammo. Can't get the bags anyway. I just kind of wanted to test it out. This is going to be uh, pretty nice once we get it up to level 2, 3. Chickens everywhere, but no point in grabbing them right now. Got no room anyway. Well, didn't fare too well on the nails, but that's okay. I'll be doing some grinding here to get some uh, planks built up, so I'm sure I'll come across a few crates. We actually have enough to get us started. You know, we got almost 500 of them, so. That'll give us a good start. Like I said, I'm not, like, aiming to complete our base. There's a couple more. I heard this guy coming. Maybe make up a couple more lock picks to take with us. We're gonna need a like a cart and a donkey to with all the stuff I plan on taking over there. Oh, there's another crate up over here, but it's right in between the two grizzlies. Better get our uh shoddy out now. Hopefully this wolf is backing off. No, he's gonna cause us some grief. Oh, he backed off. Okay, good. And he's coming now. All right, let's skate in between these guys. We'll kind of come out in the open here and see if there's anything out here that's spawned in. Oh, we didn't do too bad. Couple lock crates. They weren't the greatest of lock crates, but they were still lock crates. More than what we left with. Got some more sinew out of the deal. Look at this guy. It's like one of them little uh, Jack Russells that stand up on their front legs and piss with their back legs up in the air. You ever seen that? Oh, can't really do much with that. That's all right. I'm gonna miss our. Uh, whoops! Didn't mean to heal up. Meant to hit the flashlight button. Here's another crate. Gonna kinda miss our uh Rainbow Falls when we head out on vacation here. Well it's not really a vacation, but we're going on a road trip. Totally digging that. Alright. Let's put this stuff away so I'm not shooting something. And I have to throw this fat in there. What can we take out of here? We got iron. We got cordage. We got sinew. Cloth. Planks. Copper. Scrap. These we'll have to come back for. And the biofuel will have to leave. We'll come back and grab that stuff. Oh, we didn't do too bad. Got a pretty good haul, to be honest with you. Wasn't shabby at all. 15 planks out of the... Oh, there goes my fires. And some more glass. We're up to 77. I think I'm going to take a bunch with me over there. Because like I said, I got a pretty good plan on what I want to do. However, I'd have to make up some ingots, so... We we'll maybe have to wait and see. I'll get it all figured out and planned out in my head and we'll take the, uh, oh wow, we went over on fish oils. That's good. We'll take over what we need, but uh, like I said, I just may have to do a couple runs. You know what? I'm going to put this guy on. Throw that on. Let's get some, uh, 
generators going. Let's throw that stuff in. Weapons parts, we got six back of what we spent. Not too bad. And some seeds to take out. Matches to put up there. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt to make a couple more lock picks to take up or take south with us there too. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it, guys. I think we'll um, I'll do a little bit off camera, get ourselves ready next episode. Probably do an hour episode because it's gonna take a while to get ourselves up and over. If I feel the need, I may take a run over off camera and just put down a foundation and a box and just so I can haul some stuff over there. I'm gonna figure out exactly what we're gonna take and what we're gonna need. What's gonna happen is tanks don't stack, so to, in order to take, you know, 10 tanks with us, it's gonna eat up a good part of the inventory. So I may just do a run over there where we're gonna set up, put down a foundation and a box and then come back and then we're we'll be golden then all right so thank you very much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me do appreciate it as always just be safe look after each other and we'll see you on the next episode take it easy now